but you still maybe look individually at some of their players who might be able to perform from a prop perspective. Yeah, I think that's where you have to shift it just because baseball can be so random that we're still getting you know plenty of production out of their best players, but overall they may not be winning games. You know, I, I want to say I still have faith in them if they can kind of get things together. If we look at the pitching staff for the Twins and the pitching staff for the Guardians, I don't think it has the same potential that the White Sox do. It's just a matter of them putting it all together all at the same time, which they clearly haven't been able to do. So I'm always looking to Luis Robert for some total base props. I'm always looking to Tim Anderson for some total base props, run props, wherever it might be. And that's really where I'll lean. I'm also going to be probably buying into Lance Lynn going forward on his strikeout props because we know he has that high potential. He also has a very high potential when it comes to overall pitch count where you know, he doesn't get pulled early. He's going for 95 plus pitches. So as long as yeah. he's going to be out there, that strikeout potential is going to be pretty high for him. And so let's keep it in the American League Central. The Cleveland Guardians actually in that second spot in the standings, three and a half back of the Minnesota Twins right now. And as we look at today's slate in the American League Central, a divisional duel between the Guardians on the road in Detroit. Minus 156, that price on Cleveland as your road favorites, Tom. But where are you looking from a prop perspective for this matchup? I'm going to Jose Ramirez to record an RBI sitting at plus 105. He has 63 RBIs this season, which is the fourth most in the league. Yet his last 10 games, he does not have a single RBI. That's right. He has maintained okay. being the fourth best in the league without picking up a single RBI. And he's got phenomenal numbers overall. A 189 WRC plus versus righties. A super low 8.7% strike every. He does not waste any chances at the plate. Plenty of power with a 328 ISO going up against Drew Hutchinson, who doesn't have a whole lot of innings this year or last year. So if we look at his career, he's allowing a 4.44 XFIP against lefties, 1.31 home runs per nine, and a 38% fly ball rate. So when it comes to J-Ram, we're getting him at plus money for an RBI. I kind of mm -hmm. don't care that he doesn't have an RBI in his last 10 games. It could be, you know, no RBIs in the last five games, one game. It's just actually a great matchup for what is ultimately one of the best hitters in the league. And we're getting him at plus money. So 10 games, one game. No games, so you could have an active 10-game streak. I'd still be looking at him at plus money tonight. 